Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Hallow Scythe in Bloxford. So the Hallow Scythe is probably the first mythical sword you're going to get. And that's actually the first mythical sword I actually got. Um, this is what the Hallow Scythe looks like. And yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Um, its moves um, are Death Cy um, Cyclone, which is like this, long range move. And then Soul Execution looks like this. Um, yeah, but I use Crystal Katana since, you know, I worked really hard to get this. So you have to obviously be in 3rd C for this, um, and you want to go over to this island over here. I'm at Port Town, the spawning island, um, and you want to head over to this island. I'm just going to teleport because I have Portal. And you want to go over here to this area here, and there's going to be skeletons. Now these are level 1,975, but you want to talk to this Death King right here. And now you're gonna roll for a random surprise. Now I have 4,000 bones, um, and every roll is 50, and you can only do 10 rolls every two hours. So I'm gonna show you actually how to get a lot of bones really fast, and that's actually how I got a lot of bones. Um, and yeah, so pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna have Buddha fruit, and you wanna head down the stairs where the mummies are. And I'm, I'm just gonna quickly switch to the Buddha. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, Go and do a glitch. Now this is going to be for sword, or, uh, sword glitch. So I'm going to do Z3 really fast. So Z3. And as you can see my swords are stuck in the enlarged version. Like the Buddha. And I'm going to activate my hockey. And I'm just going to stand on this pedestal right here. And I'm just going to have an auto clicker. And if I just click as you can see. I'm going to hit all the enemies. Yeah, so you want to kind of stand in the middle. I didn't really stand in the middle, but as you can see, you do get like four bones. It's not a guaranteed chance you're going to get bones, but that is how you AFK farm for bones. Um, but yeah, once you get a bunch of bones, you want to roll for a specific item in this. Um, you want to get Hollow's Essence, and Hollow's Essence you obviously get from rolling with the Death King. So you just go to the Death King, yeah, yeah, random surprise. He will give you some money, some double XP. Fra fragments which are these uh, monies right here or hollows essence so once you get your hollows essence what you want to do is go over to this pedestal right here hold out your hollows essence and just shove it in there and it will say an unknown being has entered this world and it's going to be called the soul reaper level 2100 it's pretty easy um you just want to head over here and i got the soul um the hollow scythe on my first attempt um but i don't think you're gonna get it on your first attempt it's actually pretty rare um but yeah you're gonna climb up these stairs and there he is right over here so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab your buddha fruit and click um your auto clicker and then just start trying to kill this guy um extremely fast so yeah he's pretty easy i'm actually gonna switch to my sword so i can speed this up i know they do the same amount of damage it looks like yeah but you're just gonna kill this raid boss um, if you do this in a public server, a lot of people won't actually know what an unknown being entered this world means, but a lot of late game players, like, I'm talking about Sharkman V4 players, they'll know what kind of, uh, message that means, so, a lot of people will try to steal your kills, I remember when I first tried this, someone did try to steal my kill, I killed him, and I killed the Soul Reaper all by myself, and I did get Hollow Scythe first try, but again, it is actually pretty rare, I think it's like a 5% drop, I'm not too sure. Um, but maybe I should do a video on how I get, um, uh, true triple katana. Uh, they'll probably take less time than, uh, the, um, curse blue katana. Okay, so these guys, he's almost dead. Let's go. We are doing tons of damage. Yep. Yeah, auto clickers are my best friends, so I don't actually break my, uh, my, my finger. I almost said body, but no, I'm gonna break my finger. Alrighty, he's almost dead, and let's just turn off the auto clicker because I don't need it anymore. I get to exit my transformation, and as you can see, he'll drop a holy crown. Um, so I didn't turn off my auto clicker. Um, some money, uh, not too much money. Um, but yeah, this is what the holy crown does look like. Oh, you can't see it. Oh well, that sucks. Well, this is what the Holy Crown looks like. Um, I don't really use it. The accessory I mostly use is pilot helmets, since I could travel way faster. 
But yeah, that's pretty much how you get Hollow Scythe in Box Fruits. And if you did like this tutorial, please subscribe. Um, we're at like 616 subscribers, which is really crazy. And I just gotta appreciate everybody for the support lately. And um, yeah, so I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.